Hey guys, Rebecca Alvey here. Welcome back to the video. Um, as you can see, today is going to be a tier list video um, for the books that I read in 2022. So, um, yes, quickly I will go over the categories. Um, like last year, if you saw last year's video, the first category is to more years because I have I read these books like in middle school and I've been reading them like pretty much every year since then and there so there's a big nostalgia value and I don't think I can fairly rate them against other new books that I haven't read before so they get their own category. <laughs> That'll probably be the same although if you are interested in seeing me attempt to just tier rank all of the Tamora Pierce books against each other I might consider doing that. Let me know down below if you would be interested. Um, anyway, the next category, the first real category for the new books that I read, is the best. These are my absolute favorites. I love them. I don't care what you think. I love them. They're my favorites. Uh, the next category is Would We Read. Like, it wasn't the best book in the world, but it's one that I enjoyed and I would reread it again in the future, probably. The next option is just okay. You know, it was books that I got through, there weren't any glaring issues, but it's not necessarily like one of my favorites. I may or may not read them again, honestly. And the next category is there were some issues. And um, this is honestly for specific, specific books on the list, this is the reason that this is on here. Um, basically, like, I enjoyed the book or series, a lot of cases, series as a whole, but there were some problems that deflected from my full enjoyment and would probably prevent me from reading it in the future. The next category is do not recommend, and these are books that I, I read, I did finish reading, but I will never read them again. I didn't really love them, and um, I'm not going to be like, hey, you should read this. And the very last category is DNF, and this is another one that was on here for one specific book. Because um, I don't usually DNF books. I usually get through them and just throw me like I do not recommend sort of category. But this year there was just a book that I could not get through. Um, so yeah, and all of these opinions are my own. If you disagree with them, that's fine. You're entitled to your own opinion. Uh, I, I will not be arguing about why I chose these categories, because uh, they're just my opinions. And you can never really convince somebody else that their your opinion is right and theirs is wrong. It's, just, it's my opinion. If yours is different, we can agree to disagree. So, with that ramble disclaimer over, let's get started. Um, these are in no particular order. Just whatever um, order I was able to um, upload the pictures in. Although, now that I'm looking at this, the first book on the list is the very last book I read this year. And that is The Boiling King. And then, I just mispronounced that. Um, and this is about, like, what if Anne Boleyn had actually had a son, and so she had never been beheaded. Um, Henry had never married Jane Seymour or any of his other wives. It was it was just two wives. Catherine, which you got rid of, and Dane. And um, this is like when Anne's son comes of age and all of that fun, um, fun stuff. Um, like I said, this is the first book of the trilogy, and I just got the second and third book from the library yesterday, so <laughs> can't rate the series as a whole. But um, I actually really enjoyed this book. I'm very hit or miss on um historicals lately because I knew there would be like enough grounding and realism 
in the era. But I need it to be different enough that I'm not just reading a history book. And that's an issue I've had with a lot of, of um, historicals that I've read in the last few years. So this falls into would reread. Like, it is not the best historical I've ever read. But um, it is very good. Okay, the next book is... Come on. Come on, computer. The next book, which I think I actually read last summer, was The Hump of Night by Holly Lack. I did not mean to drop it there, sorry. Um, and this book, honestly, was just okay. Um, I feel like I don't need to go on a big, long, here's what this is about, because this was a pretty popular book by a pretty popular author, so... I feel like it doesn't need an intro or anything, um, but yeah, like, it was okay, I didn't hate it, I didn't love it either, it was just, it was a book that I read it, and I don't have any particular feelings one way or the other about it. <laughs> Next book, um, here is Curse So Dark and Lonely. Um, this is the first book of a series. Is it just the Cursed So Dark and Lonely series? It might be. I am blanking on the series name. Um, and this is one that I'm actually having a hard time placing because honestly this book on its own is great, but um, the rest of the series, particularly the third book, wasn't so great. Um, I think I'll just throw it in Wood Ruby because it wasn't the worst. It was a good book on its own. But just knowing it's the first book in the series that I did not love the ending of, I gotta put it in Wood Ruby over like anything higher. I say anything higher. Your best is the only option higher. Okay, the next book is Codex by I believe it's Lev Grossman. Um, the same guy that did the, uh, the Magicians series. And, um, I have some feelings about, some weird feelings about this book. Um, and I'm really, really debating on which of these categories to put it in because, like, it wasn't a bad book. Like, I'm not going to say don't read it. But to me, Putting there is issues. To me, it felt like at the time I had figured out what the actual storyline of the book was, it was already basically over. Like there were several threads, and they didn't converge until like the very end, and it kind of just left me unsatisfied. But like, the world was interesting, the characters were interesting, just. Everything didn't come together the way I liked the books to, so, um, yeah, there were some issues. Next book, which is what I believe I read pretty early in the year, and that is Brandon Sanderson's, I'm gonna mispronounce this, Cytonic? And, um, this is book, I believe, three in the Skyward series. And one thing I really love about the Skyward series is that Every book is do not go there. Um, every book is pretty drastically different from each other. They're all set on different worlds, same character, just different worlds. Um, and the world in this particular book might honestly be my favorite. We've learned a lot more about like the original, some of the creatures in the world. And yeah, this was really good. I'm actually not this isn't the best. That's how much I enjoyed it.
Okay, sorry, I had to take a second to adjust the, um, the screen because I realized I couldn't reach the books without like a really little big list, and there's no reason I'm not reading the list other than just it's hard to get everything on the page, and I feel like the actual ranks are more important than the giant book list because it's all going to get sorted in here eventually anyway. Um, you know what? I actually meant to do this one because I said I'm only, but I am going to do this with the next series on here. Um, the next series that I read was Crescent City by Sarah J. Bass. Um, now, I know there's been some drama around this author, but um, I'm choosing to rate the books based on the books and not based on any of that. Um, and I really enjoyed this series. Um, I'm blanking on it. House of Earth and Blood. Yeah, um, like, it was a good series. I don't know if it was the best, but I would definitely reread it. In fact, I did. I got them from the library initially, and I decided, like, halfway through this one that I'm eventually going to buy the series to read it. But I haven't yet. Um, the next one is House of Sky and Breath. Um, second book in the Crescent City, and I'm impatiently waiting for the third. I think I'm actually going to put this one the best, because it was like, it was better than the first one, in my opinion. Um, I started really enjoying the characters, and the world, and that twist. I'm not going to spoil anything, but that twist is honestly the reason that I decided to start reading, because I, I learned about the twist on TikTok or Facebook or somewhere. So yeah. Uh, the next book on here is uh, Gilded by Mer Merce Meyer? Right? I think it is. And I know this is a two-book series. Um, this book... <sighs> okay, so I started reading this book mid-February uh, thank you. Uh, if you've been around the channel for a minute, you know that on February 20th of 2022, I had a stroke. And as such, I was unable to really, like, focus on reading for a few months. Um, so, that may have, may have and probably did affect my enjoyment, although I wasn't really enjoying it before that. Um, but at that point it would have gone into do not recommend. But um I actually DNF this. Partially because of how I was feeling and partially just because I wasn't enjoying the story enough to struggle through the rest of it. So yeah. Um here we have the hands of the goddess. First Tomorrow Pierce book, the first one that's just gonna go straight into the Tomorrow Pierce category. And this is the second book of the Song of Linus. Why is it the second book and not the first? Because I just came into an open ground on a random. Honestly. Um, and now, since this is the next book on my list, I'm going to go ahead and finish out the series. Again, as I meant to, to begin with, um, the next one is A Heart So Fierce and Broken. I, actually, this is my favorite book of the series, and I am going to put in the best. Um, it built really well on the world, and I enjoyed all of the characters, and getting into the other characters that we didn't get so much of in The First Book and Lonely. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed that one. However, the final book in the series, A Val So Bold and Deadly, uh, goes into There Were Some Issues. Because, uh, again, I'm trying not to spoil anything, but the ending, and how they dealt with the villain in this, it just it felt so rushed, and like there wasn't enough build up to what happened that I was just like, wait, what? So yeah, that goes into and there were some issues. Like it, it's not a gender recommend. I will probably read the series at some point. But, um, the issues in this really affected how I felt about the series as a whole. 
it wasn't a satisfying ending, so. Yeah. Alright, the next book is Glass Sword, the second book in the Red Queen series. And I thoroughly enjoyed the series, but this one I'm gonna put in just okay, because it was not my favorite. And yeah. The next book is King's Cage. This is my favorite. It is going into the best. Um, yeah. And uh, I actually read the first book, Red Queen, last year at the very end of um, 2021, which is why it's on this list. Forest Storm, the fourth book. Um, I actually. This is very close to Valsa Bold and Deadly in that. The ending was not very satisfying. However, it was more satisfying than those two, but, um, yeah, <laughs> it left me not so thrilled. Alright, the next book, um, which took me forever to read, by the way, um, is Jonathan Strange and Mr. Noel. This is a, like, a steampunky sort of novel, I feel like. That's the word it was. Um, it's like a thousand pages. It may not actually be a thousand pages, but it sure feels like it. Um, it started out very slow. There were some, some good points with some good, good pacing, then more slowness, then more good pacing. Um, and there are definitely some issues, however, there are so many issues that I'm going to dump this in. Do not recommend. Um, don't read Jonathan Strange and Mr. Moral. It's, it's an okay book, but the okay parts are not worth the not okay parts, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Okay, um, let's go to the next more Pierce book. Pictures Queen, and I may have read this book three times last year. Why? I don't know. But I did, and I love it, and yeah. Yeah, I know it's going first. <laughs> the next two books I'm going to throw in here are the, um, the non-fiction books that I read. Miracle Morning, um, now, I've been recommended this book a billion times, and uh, honestly, it doesn't live up to the hype. It's never going to be recommend. <sighs> the other one is Venus and Aphrodite, and this is like a sort of biography-esque thing, um, histor the, the history of Aphrodite and Venus, who are two separate entities, usually. Um, like. I don't want to rank it really high because it's non-fiction and it's just, it's not... I, I should, don't know if I should have included it, but I wanted to because it was one of the books last year. But it is under just okay. Like, it, it was very informative, but it wasn't, like, world-shattering information or anything. Alright, what's next? Um... Let's... This, um... Some very kind person. Book Fairy Me, Neon Gods by Katie Robert, um, which I've been wanting to read for forever. And I really enjoyed it. Um, it's one of the best. And I have one of her other books now. I have that on my head. Off the top of my head, tell you which one. And it's uh, not on a shelf that I can see from where I'm sitting, so yeah. Alright, let's grab the other standalone, which is the Water Mirror. And this is book one of a series. Um, but my library does not have this series, so I don't know when or if I will continue reading this. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put it this okay because it was an interesting story, but there was a lot going on. 
and I mean, you could really tell that it was book one of a series, like it was working on setting up so much stuff that you really didn't get a payoff for enough of it in the first book. Alright, let's uh, finish off the series that I started 2021. Um, like, I believe in December 2021. 2021, I read The Cruel Prince, which I really liked um, enough to at least enough to get a new series. And so, this is book three. Don't ask why I grabbed it first. Actually, I'm going to put it back because I should do book two before book three. Um, and I loved literally um, The Queen of Nothing. <laughs> follows the pattern of books I read in that it was good. I enjoyed, enjoyed it, I enjoyed the series, but the ending did not make me happy. Like, it was better than Mouse of Golden Deadly. Honestly, it was better than War Storm. Like, of the, there were some issues, it was the best and it bothered me the least, but I'm still not like, like, it's not a favorite book. If the series is probably a favorite series. I, I think I've determined from this list that most authors don't know how to end the series, probably. Alright, there are three more books on the list, and they are all in one series. So, let's go ahead and show off what series it is. Shadow and Bone. Which I read over the summer. No, oh, don't go there. Um, now I I know there's a show. I started watching show about five minutes in, and I like something wrong with the show. I was just not feeling all the time, and I'm like I can't stay on just long enough to watch this. So I was not gonna try. Um, but I am excited about. So I'm gonna put the first one in the series in literally because it was very good. Now, I'm kind of blanking for a moment on what order these books in. I believe, correct me in the comments, I guess, that Siege and Storm is the next book. And of this series, this was just okay. But like, unlike these other series that I've ranked, where the beginning and the middle were great and the ending was, eh, this one, the middle was kind of like, eh. It's okay, but it's not amazing. Um, however, Dream Rising, the final book, I'm pretty sure, more than made up for that. Um, now, if I'm wrong, if I'm just misremembering very badly, and this is book three and this is book two, switch those in your head, but I, I'm pretty sure that I, I have those in the right order. But yeah, I really enjoyed the final book. Um, and it, tied up everything very well. Which, considering how not thrilled with the other books that I've, the other series that I've read, finished reading this year, and how their, their finales um, kind of fell flat. It wasn't hard to impress me with the writing of the finale, but um, yeah. So here are all the books I read last year. I read 26 books, remember, this one three times, because, I don't know, because I did, I wanted to. And sometimes when I'm not feeling well, I do kind of go back and reread, like, literally any one here's book. But yeah, so these are the books I read last, last year, for, I read in 2022, um, if you agree with my, um, where to place these, let me know if you disagree, let me know kindly, like, I, I'm not gonna argue about why I put it there and why I think you can also put it there, because again, my opinion, your opinion's allowed to be different, but, um, like, if there's something I didn't like and you loved it, I would love to know what you loved about it, and if it's something that I'm thinking about reading, I'll try and pay, pay more attention to that thing in the future, because maybe I just missed something, who knows. 
Um, but yeah, or if there's any of these books that you've just read and want to talk about, um, feel free to comment down below and let's chat about books. That is all I have for this video. Um, don't forget to like, very and enjoy it, subscribe to see more from me. I post new videos every Friday and I will see you next week with a new video. Bye.